Hi there guys, my name is John from HomeKitAuthority.com and in this video I'm going to give you my opinion on my long-term review of the IKEA Smart Blinds. Now, I originally did an hands on of these blinds back in August on my other channel, and it's received over half a million views. Now, this was based on my first impression for a couple of days, and anyone that's watched that video will know I was critical of the setup process and some of the performance with the app. It now I've had five months of use, and in that video, I installed two blinds. I've now got 12 blinds operating. So I've gone through quite a lot of testing and various different setups in order to form a well-rounded opinion. In that video, I had over 400 comments. A lot of them are around battery life, performance, and some of the things you'd only get after a long-term period. So in this video, I'm gonna cover some of those things. And now in terms of the specs, they've not changed since my original video. They start about 90 pound or about $100 and they're available currently in the US, UK and across most of Europe. Now they work on the Zigbee protocol and they're battery operated. They also come in a shade version and a blackout version but that's depending on the country you come from. Now there's various different sizes and I'm not going to list them all here because it would take up all the page but you can check them out at IKEA's website. And now in order to use them with smart home platforms in particular HomeKit you do need to be using the Tradfree Hub and that's an extra £25 on top of your purchase. Here's the setup that I'm using. I've got various different blinds in various different windows and I'm using signal repeaters and various different modes. I'm also using the Tradfree Gateway. And over that time, IKEA have released various different software updates to fix some of the initial issues. They've also just released Unkit support, so I'll be going through that in the video. Uh, so in this video, I'm covering the design and setup of the blinds. I'm also going to be covering the performance. This includes how it works with the app, how it works with HomeKit in terms of speeds and the battery life. I'll also be doing a conclusion, giving you my uh, good and bad sides of these blinds. Before we get into the main part of the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it's greatly appreciated. And also if you like this video, give me a thumbs up as it helps other people find this video at no extra arm to you. Also, if you've got a question or a comment, leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. So thanks very much. Let's get straight into the video. First of all, starting with design and installation. Both of the blinds are pretty much identical. They both sport the same design in terms of the aluminium casing. They've also got the same motor and all of the same features, more or less. The only real difference is the blackout version is a full blackout material, whereas the shade version allows light through. But overall, the build quality is really good. Now, in terms of installation, as I mentioned in the previous video, the blinds are pretty easy to actually physically install into the area you're putting them in. Now I've installed them both on a wall and within a ceiling cavity. Now the blinds don't come with any screws and there's a good reason for that. Other people have complained but I can see why different people will have different walls or ceiling fixtures that they want to mount these to. And if IKEA included some screws, then they probably wouldn't work with certain ones. Like for instance, I've got plasterboard walls and I needed to use plasterboard screws. Now installation is really simple. It took me about 30 minutes when I first got them back in August and my last lot that I installed in December, it took me around 10 minutes. It's simply putting the brackets in place and then fitting the smart blind to the brackets all done and really quick. Now next up is installing the remote that comes with the smart blinds. Now one of the things I really liked about this is it's got a back plate which attaches to the wall which allows the remote to be removed and carried around. Now if you plan not to use a home kit or the Tradfree gateway then everything should be good to go and then uh, your smart blinds are set up. So in under about 20 minutes setup is complete. Now, if you do want to use it, say with HomeKit or some of the other smart home platforms, you do need a Tradfree Gateway. Now, I've already got a Tradfree Gateway in place because I've got other IKEA home smart products in my home, and all I need to do is pair. Now, as with other IKEA products, the setup process is already complicated in itself. You first of all pair the remote with the Tradfree Gateway, then you pair the remote with the signal repeater, then you pair the remote with the blinds. That should then install everything within the app. However, 
based on my first impressions in my first video, it took over an hour and a half to get the blinds connected. Now, over this time, it has improved and changed. The last lot of blinds I installed in December, it only took about 20 minutes to get everything up and running within the app. But for me, that's still not where it needs to be. So IKEA do need to do a bit of work in there. Now, before you can fully move on, you've got one more thing to do. You need to set the blind length in order to match your window drop. Now, this is one of the easiest things that was able to be done in the setup process. You simply use the buttons on the unit, which lowers the blinds into position. Once you've got your ideal position, you then double press any of the up or down buttons to set that length. That enables the blinds to be set within the IKEA HomeSmart app, also within HomeKit as well. Now, looking at the performance, battery life, HomeKit, and using the app. So first of all, looking at the IKEA HomeSmart app. Now, this is the app that comes with the blinds, and this is IKEA's own native app. First of all, the uh, blinds can be operated as a single unit if you've got two paired together, and I've got some in Windows where they're paired together. It allows you to operate them as a single blind. And you can also easily operate them independently as well. There's also a nice animation that shows you uh, what progress the blinds have made both up and down. Now you've also got an option to update the firmware and you've also got the option to check if any of the batteries are running low. Now this would have been useful if it had been in the front end of the app to show the user at a glance whether the battery was in a good state or not. At the other part of the app is the timers. Now I've been using these for the first couple of months before HomeKit support arrived. And on some days, the timers would fail. So they'd fail to open the blinds in the morning or they'd fail to close in the evening. Now, with the latest software update, it looks like IKEA have fixed that. However, that's one thing to point out. That these are not been perfect when I've been using the blinds. Now, in terms of speed performance, the blinds are in several different windows. And I've got blinds that drop to the full 195 centimeter drop. And I've got blinds that don't. So the ones that I've tested, 195 centimeters it takes 29 seconds to open and 31 seconds to close whereas the uh, blackout blinds they took 17 seconds to close and 19 seconds to open and this is for 123 centimeter drop so they are fairly quick i've also find them fairly quiet and you can't hear them if you say upstairs away from the blinds now turning on to the battery they charge via usb and because the uh, usb port and the battery connections are at the front of the blinds when they slide in to the actual smart blinds you haven't got the option to charge these whilst they're in situ so you need to take them out when you need to charge them now charging the battery takes about two hours using this usb charger now i've had these for about five months and i'm finding i'm charging them every two months on average now some of them last longer than others depending on use now moving on to home kit now home kit support has only just arrived recently however i have been using it with ownbridge plugin and they've been working okay now ikea did release a couple of weeks ago the HomeKit support but then suddenly stopped it because of technical issues in the last couple of days HomeKit support has finally started to be rolled out again, and it seems really stable. Now, if you're already using a trad free gateway, then your blinds, once updated to the latest firmware, should automatically appear within your home app. However, if you're not using a trad free gateway or you've not set up HomeKit before, then it's as simple as setting up any HomeKit device. You simply scan the code and go through the setup process. Now, once you've got your blinds set up, you can do all the things that you can already do, like add them to rooms or you can group them together if you've got multiple blinds and they're controlled by the tiles. So all you need to do is click and it will open or close the blinds or if you click again it will send the opposite direction you've also got more intricate control over them by using the slider within the 3d touch menu or you can obviously use siri to control them now the real benefit of having these blinds is using them with automations and scenes so now all my blinds are now opened with the early morning automations and with the night times automations as well so each day the blinds are opened and they're closed and whilst i are having issues with the ikea implementation of the automations with the unkit automations i've had no issue so the unkit setup and the unkit performance has worked really well
Uh, so now looking at the conclusion and my opinion of these blinds, been using these for about five months and I've gone through a bit of a journey with IKEA in terms of starting out with the very first ones that released back in August and being very critical. And with that review, you could get a good idea before the end of the review where things were going and it wasn't so great. However, I am pretty happy that over the last five months, IKEA have made some significant changes and significant improvements to the software in order to get them to, into a decent place. They've still got a long way to go in terms of competing with some of their competitors or competing with some of the smart home platforms that are already out there, but they're doing really well. So starting with some of the good points, the design and the quality is pretty good for the price point. I was expecting them to be pretty cheap and feel cheap and look cheap but they're not they don't rattle around when they're operating and they are pretty quiet the speed performance is also acceptable comparing that to say the soma smart blinds these are pretty fast to open and close uh, now in terms of the materials the blackout blind does a good job but you've just got to make sure they fit your windows the shade version offer enough privacy but also let enough light through now it all depends down to personal preference but these work for me now, it would have been good if IKEA had chosen other colors than gray, and they may do that in the future, but right now it's just a gray color. Over the last five months, the setup process has improved, and it's not taking an age to add these to the Tradfree Gateway and get these up and running, which is really good. It's also great to see that IKEA have followed through on their promises and delivered HomeKit support. And whilst they did get off to a bumpy start with the HomeKit support and having to stop things, it's now pretty stable and works really well. Now, moving on to the bad points, IKEA still need to improve the app and the user experience, particularly the setup process. It'd be great if you could add these directly to the hub without having to jump through a load of hoops in order to get them set up. Also great if I could improve the app, particularly the uh, routines and automations don't work all the time. The app is also clunky and it doesn't seem to offer a great customer experience. It'd be great if Heike could take some of this feedback on board and start to improve things because they're certainly onto a winning product with the Home Smart platform. They just have to improve some of the sharp edges. At night, it would also be great if IKEA brought these out in different colors and they may do that in the future. But overall, I am impressed with the IKEA smart blinds. IKEA is certainly going to do something that's really good and that's drive down the price of other competitors. And it's great to see a affordable smart blinds hit the market. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been greatly appreciated. If you want to subscribe to the channel, then I would appreciate that. If you've also got a question or a comment, please leave it below. And if you want to check out more HomeKit support, check out the channel or check out the website. The link is in the description below. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.